What's up guys? Uh, another video. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm going to uh, do a series of videos on uh, some of the cool stuff I got recently. Uh, I know it's a bit, I know it looks a bit cluttered right now, sorry about that. Um, I was uh, just in the middle of doing something. But uh, I decided to do a little review on a drop-in I made myself for the Surefire E1E. Uh, I know, I know this light, I really like it. And um, I know there aren't many um, LED upgrades for this light available. And I really couldn't find one that was um, reasonably priced. So I decided to uh, make one myself. Uh, it was actually pretty easy. Uh, not too difficult at all. It's direct drive, so nothing fancy. No regulation or anything like that. It uses a 3-volt rechargeable battery. 3-volt, not 3.7. But you could also use 3.7 volt rechargeables. I mean, the LED I used will will handle it. So here it is. Here's the little drop in I made. Sorry, let me just close this up. All right. It was very simple. Um, I had a blown E1E. Uh, switch, I mean, sorry, um, bulb already on hand, so I decided to use a 5mm uh, LED, um, just put it in there. Uh, it's it's kind of, I'm not sure if this, this is going to show up on the camera, but uh, it's, it's not one of those long 5mm LEDs, it's kind of a cut in half version of them. It's, I know they're five millimeters in diameter, but the height is also, it also looks around five millimeters to me. Uh, I know the, usually the five millimeter LEDs are a bit larger. They're about here. Uh, this one is maybe half that. So, um, so yeah, so that, and then to get the focusing right, I cut off pieces of, um, kind of, I don't know what to call this, uh, this elastic, uh, material to ju just to put under the LED. Uh, also, it acts as a uh, insulator for the two uh, legs that the LED has. Uh, one leg I soldered on to this portion right here, and then the other leg I soldered on to this portion. And then what I did next was uh, just to keep the wiring in place so that it wouldn't slip or break off, I actually filled this portion with um, epoxy, the 500 epoxy stuff. So this actually does not come off from this black plastic part anymore because uh, it's just glued on there. Uh, I did that just, like I said, just so that um, the, the soldered wires wouldn't come off or break off at any time. And it gives kind of a really sturdy feel to it too. So that's that. The working voltage of this um, LEDs think around 2.5 to 4 volts so that's plenty uh, it doesn't draw much at 3.5 volts uh, when I measured it it drew around 30 milliamps so that's nothing so you're gonna get really really good battery life on this it's not very bright but um, I got the focusing right so it actually uh, projects pretty well Let me put in the LED. Um, let me put in the battery for this. There. So not too bright, but um, it projects pretty well. So that's that. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my little drop-in review of the not review, but a demonstration of the little drop-in I made. So uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.